Hi, welcome to Oracle Tutorials. Uh, today we are going to discuss about different types of database objects. Um, so, as you see on my left, uh, this is we logged into test 3 um, schema in Oracle and we have all these things listing here. These are all representing mostly types of objects. So these are first used tables, uh, which you probably know because we have done uh, creation some tables in the last uh, few sessions. Um, then something called views. Now what are views? Uh, views are a some sort of a um, representation of a underlining uh, table through a query. So let's discuss that in detail. So let's say probably in the in the last uh, a uh, few videos where you have seen me running some query. So for example, if you want to do select star from department, department, uh, you would put something like, if you search this one, say you have department, right? And then you have select star from employee, so then you will do If you run this one, you will say you've got the um, the employee. So now sometimes you may have to run a little bit complex query joining a uh, few things. So let's run a query where you have to join multiple tables. So where I have taken a query from an earlier. So let's say we have uh, this query where I'm joining uh, the department and the employee and getting few rows from each of the table. So if you run it, so we got you know the, uh, the first name and the department name. So these are again sample queries but in, in real applications you probably have to deal with uh, you know, much more complicated uh, queries and joins. So, for example, this two tables could be um, you know, five, six tables with uh, you know, complicated joins. Uh, and then you may have two columns from one table, three columns from another table. So, so you know, to run this, uh, and then if you have such a complex query which is accessed uh, a lot of times in the application from your application or from your users, then you uh, might want to save that query in, in some sort of a, a database object so that people can just refer to it. I mean just for this example let's say if you do select star for EMP so it's so easy to uh, do a select. Um, so Oracle provides something called v views through which you can create some sort of a you can think of a like a pseudo table uh, which would be connected with the underlining query. So as you see this one, here we have our query and we have created a view on that. So what we are calling is create or replace view. Now the replace is a special type of function which means is that if the the object in this particular case the employee department object exists, it will, it will drop it and then create it. If it doesn't exist, fine. Uh, it will just to create the brand new. So if you run it, you will create the view. So here, it, as it says, you know, create or succeeded. Uh, so let me clear the output. So again, let's run it. So create, succeeded. So now, instead of running that big query, what we can do is that we can just select star from our EMP department. And you will see this one has the same result as the um, same result as the the query. So really, through this object, we have under we have stored our query. So subsequent, uh, you know, in subsequent times, we can just do a select. Now this is a lot more easy and efficient because, um, but at the same time, we are not really creating a table. It means whatever if the employee table gets updated and we select star, uh, it will fetch the new rows. So that's about the view. So the key thing to realize that is again, it is a, it is a, it, 
it doesn't create tables uh, when you it is not a permanent data store when you create the view it is basically a you can think of a layer on top of a table uh, so which particular situation you would create views where let's say you have um, uh, a complicated query and that get gets accessed very often uh, then you would create a view and save uh, you know a lot of people typing uh, the queries and etc etc a lot of times views are also created to sort of standardize SQL queries uh, because instead of uh, letting everybody write similar queries which would uh, fetch a set of columns uh, you would you know standard you would create a view and let people use the view which has all the joins uh, already established and defined so that people do uh, minimal amount of um, you know coding uh, to create new joins so that's about the views um, so in the same way you know you describe tables you can describe views also so if you do depart you know dash is a command which is used to describe uh, tables so as you see here we have uh, the views now views has takes the underlining uh, data types and the nullable or not nullable um, information so as you see here we have a department name and it has got the underlying tables, uh, data types, and the null conditions. Uh, so I hope that clears the views part. So what's next? So next, let's discuss about uh, indexes. Now, indexes are um, something which we use to make the queries efficient. So for example, let's say we have, uh, again, let's go back to the employee. So let's say select star from employee. Now, let's say we have, um, you know, 100,000 or 200,000 rows. Now the way, and then you are doing select star from EMP where EMP ID equal to one. So let's run this query. Uh, okay, so EMP ID is probably not the column name. This column name is ID. So here, as you see, this written very fast. But if think about it, if this has almost hundred thousand or maybe one million records, and if you have to scan through it, it might take some time, a little bit time. So there are uh, database provides you know some tools every database to make the queries faster. And one of the ways they suggest we do it is to create an index. Now, what is an index? Index basically stores the location the physical address of the record in the database now let's what does that mean now that means when you create uh, for example let's take a step back and see how really data is stored in the tables so now when you insert a row like this david smith ultimately this sits in the in the database and it and ultimately eventually in some data files and which has a particular physical memory address physical address in the disk disk is basically the hardware where the ultimately that all the data is stored so now when you select something so oracle you know through its table it goes to and tries to retrieve where that data is physically stored so for that if you have let's say 1 million rows it has to go and scan in all the rows in it may end up scanning even the 1 million rows to find that address now you can simplify the process if you tell that if you have a mechanism where you say you store something like here we are selecting let's say for id equal to 1 you say id equal to 1 has the address addr1 because addr1 is the location of this record then id equal to 2 equal to addr2 and like that so on and so forth so then all instead of scanning the entire table for that row all Oracle has to do is they scan this you know smaller tables which has just two columns and it basically goes to and say okay it's two two is address two address two which is the physical address and then it just goes to that address in the disk and fetches the row so just the key thing is to really for Oracle to fetch a row out of 1 million rows it has to know the address 
physical address of the record and we do that if you create an in if you create if you store the data something like that it gets a lot easier and this is what we achieve by creating index so if we create for example if we create an index using uh, for the ID Oracle internally would store this sort of uh, records so we'll discuss more in detail in our next video uh, let's stop here